Boom, personality turns on right now. Here is Athlete of the Year. Well, we don't know at the time of recording this, but Travis, you're my Athlete of the Year, buddy. You're my Athlete of the Year. Oh, stop it. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need those four months in the middle. I think, honestly, <laughs> though, if you look, if you went from your August last year to August this year, shit, bro, what a fucking year you had. Like, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's like, you know, stand out 12 months right there. Well, um, should feel accomplished. That's a pretty good thing. Mate, yeah, I definitely do, that's for sure. I never even thought about it like that it was in August, August. I always thought it was January to August for some reason. Yeah, yeah. just because like you you started to like, like if you remember last year when they were talking about the Star Awards, it was like you came in heavy for the last back half of the year. You really hit, like came out of, I think, what was your injury last year? The, um, that last uh, year you hurt something. Same, same ankle, but it was different problem. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, the, the old ankle. But yeah, like it's crazy to think, man. Oh yeah, but also welcome everybody to this week's episode of Catch Up with Dong Tomato. Our guest is Travis Vakay. Vakay, what's, what's going, going on? Vakay, how what's... do you say it properly? It um Vakay. Vakay, yeah, I always or forget Vakay. Vakay, because you yeah. got Verky as like the staple. So I'm like, it's Travis Verky. Oh wait, v- Vakay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would oh, you yeah, say that like... backwards? What Vakay? Yeah, Kyra. no, your whole name. Kai Krev Sivart. Kai Krev Sivart. Yes, dog. Um, I've done mine for everyone. So if you didn't listen yeah. to other week's podcast, you can go listen to my name backwards on those ones. Um, I bet you weren't yeah. expecting such a quick answer there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I, think, like, I was like, whoa, shit, my man's got it dialed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you could have a superpower, Travis, what would your superpower be? Oh, um like related to parkour or like just like in general whatever man mate do you know what? just so weird i actually thought about this like two weeks ago i swear <laughs> but it was um and we're not even no one even asked me it. i was just like yeah, yeah. What, if, I, if i had a superpower <laughs> <laughs> uh, there. it would be you know like you're just like in a room just like full of people and like say are like, you watching videos or whatever um it would just be like just to know what to watch every time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be like the perfect, the yeah, yeah. perfect V, V, VJ, VC, yeah. whatever video jockey. I can, yeah, yeah. I can, like, I can like scan the room and see everyone's like likes Taste. and dislikes, and then just find like the perfect thing every time. Do you know what I mean? Mate, I think that is by far the most like ridiculous, the best answer we've had for a superpower because yeah. it's almost like a, it's a super like precise and not that useful in a broader situation like you're not gonna say lines <laughs> and i'd be like yo i'm so, watch i can make everybody happy Bloop. yeah and then like when i'm not there everyone's like oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> i wish travis was here playing videos man yeah. that's so funny i like that a lot <laughs> so because you want to be this amazing video expert and articulate video specialist of showing people if you could show your younger self then one clip or achievement or it could be like um like a small video piece or like even if it's something you don't have a clip of like something you could show your younger self to motivate you to you know give yourself like a uh, a goal point or something to achieve or like you know if you work x this hard all this time you'll get to that stage yeah um honestly like i actually think it could be this year's roundup video like this year's video yeah yeah yes but then also yeah yeah i'm just um yeah obviously it's a shame that it's only been it's only like half a year but yeah uh, yeah still I still though I'm really really proud of like the shit I did this year yeah um I feel like yeah you were in your own element this year for sure yeah I I know this year I just definitely felt something a bit different when I was training and 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 last year I felt like I was like oh shit I've never been like this good but it's definitely I felt like this year I've turned in to be like um okay I'm, I'm doing this now i mean this is my mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going there to do this rather than going there to like sort out i'm going there to, to train do you know what i mean yeah and do you feel like you have more of your own understanding of like what you like to do and where you like to go and and those sorts of things like what what are some of the things that you know yeah you like I mean, to do with your time yeah. and training i've always wondered like when i was younger it's like how my movement would develop and I, I've had, I've had like a year where I've just focused on parkour and I've had a like 
quite a lot of years in my younger self focus on just like flips and shit because i found that fun mm-hmm. um and it's definitely been super interesting this like in the last like two three years where i've mixed them together really and um not uh, not just that but also like mixing them together and like doing something that i'm really happy with as well i find like yeah uh, you've got a distinct style that it looks like you you like want to attain with those like three to five move hit combos that are yeah, of yeah. high difficulty yeah, yeah, yeah. I, really, I really enjoy doing that stuff and then also i just think i try to go for like the most unique as like possible i want to be eye-catching and unique mm-hmm. um if my movement itself just like if someone thinks of verky and just thinks of my movement is unique then i think that's pretty cool like do you know what i mean yeah nice do you think joe yeah. joe is somewhat joe's game is somewhat an inspiration for that where he's got like oh, his, just yeah yeah you know joe's yeah. joe I always, I literally always tell people, like, if people don't know Parkour and see, like, my friends recently in Bristol who have just met Joe for the first time and, and they're starting to get into Parkour and shit and I'm trying to describe the movement that Joe does and I just think it's so, like, it's so fucking cool because, like, this guy is, like, he's out, he'll, he's, like, adapted his movement, like, recently to, like, the last, like, few years, it's, like, something that's no one's pretty much ever done and also... It's so individual. Yeah, yeah. Um... I don't. Is it? You said. I don't know if he said to me before, but is it because of his like ankle injuries and stuff? Before he can't take too much um, impact or bounce stuff. I believe that was one of the original reasons that yeah. uh, a lot of the like you know because in 2016 17 he had sore ankles, but he was still doing a lot of the worm cast pre's and the yeah. the really heavy flip like gargoyle combos and stuff. Um, and then there was that period of time where I think similar to us, where the, the <laughs> you just abused your ankles for so long that they gave gave out and you had to go back to square one. Um, yeah, and then yeah. that was where I think he developed that like softer, like descents didn't hurt. And they um, like became, uh, you know, a big part of it. But yeah, like he did, um, Jan just pointed out, he uh, killed his ankles at on-site qualifiers, one of the art of motions as well. Like that was like one of the, um nails in the coffin kind of thing for a while um but it seems like they're back is 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 you know doing massive yeah, stuff now yeah. again i quite even like i prefer his movement now to what um to all, 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 like some of the like early stompy like, joe you know what i mean yeah 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 it's so much cooler man like yeah and that's what like when i'm older that's what that's what i want to be doing do you know what i mean mm-hmm. that's i, I don't that's the, i'm I don't even know if I'm creative enough for that because I'll be training with Joe and he's just like, you'll point something out. I'm like, mate. How, how have you how have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I feel like you've kind of uh, very much become part of a, a very tight unit with myself and Joe and, and Robbie Griffith where it is uh, like a articulated style of training. Like we'll go out and it's very like mm. not your traditional spot anymore and it's not your like traditional kind of rhythm of a jam where it's like oh you know we're all just playing and blah blah it's like no no you you stock up and you attack the thing you want to attack and and we all like very much bonded over that was there like a, a favorite month for you this year that stood out um you know as like the for, for training or just for like lifestyle or something you know important that um, happened is uh i know i i've got to remember the months now isn't it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean there's definitely Does it look like you had a, that month in la where you were doing all of yeah, the, like, side of the, the river or there's like the out of motion trip like you yeah. know i'll ask you about your favorite trip separately to that after so if there's like a month period maybe where like there's a couple of different things or the training was good yeah i mean the second trip you? the second trip i went to la it was like i spent a couple of weeks there but that like whole month when, when i came back and did the imax stuff Mm. That was um, yeah, where you were with Sibe and Bart. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that was that, that was, was like April, June. Yeah, yeah, around April ish. Yeah, April ish. You know, the... you, you know when you're like, you know, <laughs> you probably know this to be fair, but you know when you just like, you just feel like you could just do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call <laughs> it, I call it, I call it Danny phase. Funnily enough, like Danny. Yeah. <laughs> so you you get into Danny phase or Danny mode, and it's like everything you want to do in parkour is like suddenly attainable. You're like, Oh, I see this challenge. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. That was fun. Oh, look yeah, at this yeah. thing. Boom. And they're just like, they all click. That was like, yeah. Period, like yeah. 2021 yeah. was just my Danny mode where I was like, ah, 
I can just yeah, that'll like, work. It, it's, <laughs> I, I, if you wanted to describe it further to people, I think a good way to phrase it would be that your mental and physical states line up uh, in yeah. a really good balance. So you're finally yeah, yeah. as confident as you are good, but you're also as good as you are confident and you're able to kind of do that dance and suddenly as they're in line and you can grow mm. a lot faster yeah, because a big part of it is, is mental for sure. And that confidence in yourself that you feel during that phase. Mate, that's a perfect way to put it. I can't even lie. Mm. So perfect. Yeah. It's something it's just I've thought like, about for a while is like yeah. how it works. But is there anything you, yeah. you think that like personally for you helped you get to that stage or really like uh, clicked that into drive? Just, mate, I just, just kept, just kept sending it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I literally like I did I didn't even know it was a thing obviously so I can't be working towards that it was more of just like I was doing what I was doing and then I got to a point I, I think it was literally must have been about three months this year but I've, there was a point where I was just like right I can I can go there I can do that and that's mm -hmm. when I was like buying up all these big things so I knew it was in my actual grasp then um but um do you think definitely around that time where i went to la and came back into that side pre and kong to double cork at imax yeah i was definitely like a, a moment where it was like oh that's the thing let's go do that um and then you rather, can just do that yeah 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 rather than like i've been in the past where it's been like oh that's the thing let's train for that um let's see if i can build up and do it but there's more it's more i go to spot you have a picture of the thing in the spot beforehand or like you turn to the spot and be like oh i can do that yeah and it's but drawing even, on previous yeah. experiences that you you have to be able to pull that off, like things that you've done over the last yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. twelve months of training. You're suddenly like, oh, that unlocks this here, and your brain starts yeah, yeah, to exactly. do more work. I actually in that in that time period, I came I came back to uh, my hometown where I'm now in Dorset. I went to this old spot which like I've like haven't been to in years, and I just remember just like it was like I I filmed a vlog there on my vlogs, and I just remember just taking like old like challenge which I've always wanted to do like one by one literally like ones I've always like thought about doing I was just doing be like on one day, day I'm gonna do that yeah. and then it became it that like, day back to back to back to back it wasn't even that day it wasn't even like right I'm gonna go and do all these challenges it was like I literally turned up to sport just had a training session with Danny Pierce and I just felt like I was in that mood where I just felt like I, I could do anything really and I just kept ticking them off and they were all like fine and I was just like oh this feels great <laughs> yeah do you think do you think like stuff like capstone and uh like also just the the four months you had at the back, the back of last year where you were kind of mm. dialed in more and breaking down challenges and seeing it through that scope of almost like hunting yeah. in the way that joe yeah, yeah. and uh like carter and stuff do train where it's more focused do you think that uh that stuff helped now get into that state of like Oh mate, yeah, definitely. Definitely capstone helps so much. Like especially mm -hmm. being around that whole like energy and I think I just enjoyed that whole like trip just what like so much to the point where I was just like, right, so I'm training now. Yeah. This is how, yeah. Like, it, was, it was already kind of like that anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, maybe that I, I kind like, of like uh you know polished it and made it more refined. Yeah, it was a bit of an eye opener because really, I was like, oh, this is like it's more efficient for me and my style now. I'm at a point, I'm at a level where I can play. Um, that's how I want to train now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Speaking of LA earlier, you were there for a whole month, maybe more. Um, uh, this year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. For, yeah, about about I did two weeks in February, and then that's right. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you liked it there. You want to go back? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do, actually, LA yeah, yeah. vibes, bro. Come down, yeah. hang out in Cali, dude. <laughs> Go Yosemite, man. Fucking did, mate. It was class. Yeah. Mate, I got that. Mate, that Yosemite trip was unreal. I don't yeah, know. you look like you're having a great time over there. Like, mate, it, it looked so like good. a really fun, fun trip. So good. And yeah, then, I uh, do want to go, do go back sometime this this year, potentially. Yeah, Maybe. yeah. Um, next year, next year, sorry. Yeah. Next year. Well, it's going to say when these come out, it'll be 2023. But for people listening, we are recording these end of 2022. Oh, this year, then. Christmas Take it back. Hey, Christmas. Ooh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, have you got any plans for the New Year's? Doing anything exciting? Oh, we'll mate. To the point, but... um, man, I think I'm just going to get very drunk. Do you know what I mean? Huh? Very, very um, responsible. <laughs> yeah. Um, going to be in Bristol, innit? So... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. That, that, that specifies things more. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going home or anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
after New Year's is going to be my um, where I'm definitely going to be starting like coming off my injury a bit more. If I can mm-hmm. start to push outside training a bit more. Um, yeah, well, you're so already I'm, doing I'm, some stuff. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've just been testing it out the last like couple of weeks. Um, for people, for people who don't know, listening, I ruptured two ligaments in my uh my ankle and the inside of my mm-hmm. ankle. I had surgery to fix that uh in August. Um, but now, yeah, I'm, I've tested out in the last couple of weeks. Um, and I think and- I still. It needs to be stronger for sure. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, some of that uh, funding and help for your surgery came from your YouTube audience. Uh, oh, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah was, like you tell us a bit, a bit about that. Really didn't expect it to be fair. <laughs> I can't really, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it started off just like, um, I, I didn't even know I was like eligible for like the super thank thing you can do mm-hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. And so I posted a video saying I got injured and explained about it all i didn't even mean to like sound like too depressed in it but um <laughs> it, it's, i mean bro, I, you probably were bummed because you just yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, definitely, like, definitely, yeah. yeah but, but the funny thing is i actually re-recorded it because i sounded too sad and i was like <laughs> oh, this sounds like i'm mocking it here like so i re-recorded yeah, yeah. it trying try to like bring it to turn up a little bit yeah everyone in the comments started like, i can see how bummed you are man and started just doing just like the super thanks thing and um just get sending me that money to help out and um in uk like healthcare is free but also when you have like a serious injury and also when parkour is my job and my life it can be a bit of a waiting like it is quite a long time to wait to get it all done so yeah went, and also when you have yeah. like more than your like it's not like an emergency treatment or something generally you have to pay more exorbitant fees right like for a yeah, so, so it, nature. yeah yeah so I had to pay to get the surgery done and the appointments beforehand. Mm-hmm. Which before I was a bit like shit. Um, <laughs> this is everything but, uh, I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I was super lucky from all my audience and just those guys being legends to help me out a bit there and our motion and stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I, was, I was in a fortunate position, so um, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you were just coming coming off the back of winning Art of Motion. I mean, how did you feel about the uh, the format change up uh, and also like the the whole experience? Man, I loved it, man. I loved it. <laughs> I mean, I, obviously easy for me to say. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like, oh yeah, it was such a good comp because I was like so good in it. <laughs> yeah, but, like no, I quote, I, quote I, remember, I I spoke to like loads of people beforehand about it, and I always did say like this does favor me a bit here. Like I can't lie. Yeah. Like, but um, man, I yeah, even in the moment when it was happening, like it was unbelievably fun. Like it didn't really feel like a comp. Like it yeah. just felt like actual parkour, and it's like parkour hated, like, with a bit of focus, a bit of guidelines. Like do this yeah. this day with your parkour. Do this this day with your parkour. But it was like you didn't have this like line up and do this intense stacking and all the point system and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, like, people that hate on it, I think either didn't understand it or understood it, and then just, it's not them doing it, so they don't know. Like, I, if it was them doing this competition, their whole, like, or this format of competition, like, mm-hmm. like it would definitely just, like, their opinions would be like, well, okay, this competition is sick, is that actually, this is actually, like, parkour, parkour. For sure, because I feel like someone who maybe doesn't have, like, a heavy hitting, like Mark Bush, for example, would be someone who I think would actually excel so mm. hard in that format and he's not doing like impacty heavy or crazy trick stuff it's that he's so good as nico van hol as well i think would like excel at a format like that where it's like yeah. street and combo and yeah. fuse because they have such unique styles and such captivating yeah. movement that it doesn't need to be a full in back out to to be winning yeah comps. but the things yeah 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 that's the thing like it can just be like simple as making a short sweet combo but then also there's the other side of the spectrum where it literally can be a fill in, fill out stomp. And yeah. And they're still like, going to get the wow. And we're still going to yeah, have yeah. a space for that in the event and rate that highly. Like no one's discrediting difficult tricks when we do this format. I think it has a broad enough spectrum to cover that, that field. And it's a bit more subjective like our sport is. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's like, yeah. Literally all it is like our sport is so subjective and trying to, 
um be, being judged on it in, a, in other ways like mm. it's quite it's always a difficult task and especially when it's like um literally you, you've got like like you know, the, all the old like formats and stuff like that um, yeah the, it's been it's, evolving it's, it's so different. yeah it, it, it's i feel like that's so much harder to judge than uh, would you would you want to be competing coming back out of injury is something you like next year you want to get back into more comps and and even if it's like uh some of those street comps and stuff like big wall open we saw is that sort of like where you want to be going oh yeah yeah big wall open looked fucking mad i was yeah i was i was there live streaming it but mm -hmm. i was just so eager to get involved man uh, the, the was vibe was really fun. good and you yeah, did yeah. the kipper street comp as well yeah yeah, yeah. but I, did, I didn't actually know that was a street comp i can't lie I was, <laughs> that, that, that was sick but before i went there i didn't know it was a comp i thought it was a jam and i started training i was like oh Nice. Like giving out stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that was also a sick one because, like, is it? It's like it feel. It feels like a jam, but then also like, there's no. Um, uh, it's not. I didn't. At least didn't get nervous like one little bit. It was just like mm. fun. Do you know what I mean? And he, yeah. Um. Obviously, it's not like a massive prize, which also I think is cool, and yeah. I think it helps quite a lot. And it doesn't need to be that. It just needs to be like get people there who are committed to like take part in this thing just that's how the it, sport like, level gets fun, pushed man. as opposed to fun, like yeah. the yeah yeah the industry or like the competitive circuit or something like these i think mini events have a very big impact because they're like it's not something where we can necessarily at this stage they could get to the point where we can be putting big prize money or like something like that but that's again it's not the spirit of the event the spirit is to get together and everyone like have a go and try this stuff it's all about the yeah, fun yeah. nature and that's like a, a an integral part of like the sports culture that um other than you know we see like the mainstream competitions and stuff like that i think it's good to have those cultivated what about fig do you want to get in on some fig comps are you gonna hit up <laughs> hit up those fig events no nah. No, no, no. <laughs> what about what about Project Underground? I'm I'm planning to try and make it to Project Underground 11 in March this year. Uh, March, yes, yeah. Um, I'll be there. Do you reckon you'll be? Do you reckon I'll you'll be, be recovered in time for that? Can people see you speeding I'll be around recovered, that course? Sure. I'll definitely be recovered, man. But um, yeah, I'll have to decide on the day, I guess. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's hard to I'm, hard to know I'm, now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they they, they um, Project Underground is my first ever comp um mm. when, I, when i was younger um i loved it man i've always been one of those events where i've just been has, had a lot of fun as well and i've always gone every year um, yeah yeah man i was like I, um i don't see why not yeah would you just, want, would you compete even if you weren't like if you were say you were like nothing was hurting but you couldn't do your crazier shit would you still compete do you think or would you want to just compete if like you feel like we're like I'm going to do the stuff I'm proud of the most. I don't. Uh, it's a good question. To be fair, because mm. with a comp like that, it's all about just like taking part, isn't it? Right, right. Everyone, everyone is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I think I would still compete. To be fair, mm -hmm. if I, if I wasn't a hundred percent. But you I'd weren't going to hurt yourself if like doing some shit. Yeah, it definitely yeah. would. Definitely would take part. I, I would, I would, I want to try speed, man, or skill. Yeah, I'll join you. I'll join you for those. Yeah. I'm like, I want to, I want to get really into comp, like do it, like participating in comps for the next like two years at least, yeah. while my body is like really like in a good strong place. Just because like then I probably won't be able to play anymore. The level's going to get too high, and I'm going to get too old. So, <laughs> like, the, unless the comp formats fit like the certain thing that I can continue yeah. to do, I like yeah, really want to join in for the last like next little bit of competition. So we should try Same and do man. all three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's what I said. I, 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 yeah, I really want to try skill. Yeah. It, um, I'm intrigued. I reckon you yeah. do quite well at skill just because generally speaking, you have quite a broad skill set that's like high in a lot of skill trees. Like you're not a singular talent athlete. Like, you know, myself, mm. like you can't just do front flips and nothing else. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it'd be good to see um you doing something like, you know, skill based. I think you probably yeah. probably have a good time. Oh uh, yeah, uh, man, I would love to. I mean, I might have to get better at swinging and stuff, but true, true. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, it's so hard to be like 
Ed Scott. So well you know wondered. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's so hard. He just does. So, it's like, is there, there's like so many yeah. different skills in parkour and then to make yourself like progress and pursue all of them is, is a, this is a very applied effort. But it's so hard, man. Like, um, comparing it to like another sport, like football, whatever, like there's only like, say if you're a forward, the technique you've got to learn is shooting, passing, do you know what I mean? Free ball, stuff mm-hmm. like that. It's all on the same borderline of kicking the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is kicking <laughs> the ball. Park- yeah. Yeah. With parkour, it's like, I'm not showing off football because I love football. And I think it's a great yeah, part. Yeah. It's, it's like with, with, with parkour, it's like, you've got jumping, swinging, vaulting. <laughs> it's like taking and the ball and doing like doing a head, well. a head <laughs> cut, like a, a no handed cartwheel on the ball mid game. Like it's, it's very different. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro. Stop! You're ruining it. <laughs> it's, it's too hard. Just kick the ball. But yeah, like that's uh, is yeah, something sure, man. It's just about parkour. That's just like really, I think, uh, inviting is that it is kind of endless like that. Um, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, it's, always, it's always new challenges, man. Like there's almost like... impossible to attain complete yeah. mastery, which makes it desirable because you want to always be able to get better at something. Yeah, mate, definitely. And even if you're like. You are the best at everything. You can go to a different place and just put it in different variations. And yeah, like the, the, the opportunities are endless, man. Literally, like, literally it, endless. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of things that uh, are sadly not endless, um, Modus Projects uh, has just announced that they're they're closing down. Um, are you were you still doing any active work with the team prior to that? What are you you know thoughts on that? Obviously, Giles has done an amazing um, job over the last like i mean i've been pretty I've, I've been pretty dormant in the last like couple of months mm-hmm. just because of my ankle and stuff so i haven't really had too much um involvement recently yeah but um yeah mate it's such a shame i actually didn't expect it at all to be fair i was um sat at home and i got a message on the group chat and i was thinking i was like oh what's this and i was like <laughs> yeah like it wasn't it wasn't just swept off yeah, your just feet. not what oh, i expected man. at all um but yeah man Joel's fucking killed it like throughout the whole time it's been a thing since 2014 man it's yeah. been like it's been That's eight years been of, a- of providing an amazing platform for eight, a yeah. multitude of athletes and and really like sticking it out and doing doing bits mate it's been a brand which like uh, um obviously when i was starting when i was like 13 12 whatever like most projects having like luke stones and max barker so close to me and um obviously knowing Keelan as Keelan as well and all these people and it, it was something that I really idolized and it was one of those like like I used to like Luke was, used to be my hero man when I was younger like mm-hmm. when I was like 12 I used to like watch it all the time I, met, I remember when I first met him I was like yes! and it was all because of like all, all because of Motus man and, like, yeah I remember getting my first, I mean, I've still got my first Motus top which I bought myself my own like pocket mm-hmm. money like it's definitely gone from a brand which I've been like I've idolized so much that I've been involved with and I've loved being involved with it so much because I loved it from so young and yeah um, yeah it's such a shame to let it go and I just think Giles has made such an impact with like athletes other brands <coughs> um, different clothing and stuff like that like yeah um, like just think about the yeah. amount of lives he's touched and and fulfilled and changed with with the brand that he's made and I think that's something he should always take away as as and like everyone involved in it should take away is that they did they'll leave an unforgettable mark on the sport. Um, and, yeah. and that's something that is, is, is really amazing. Yeah. It's weird. I was going to be like a legend now, isn't it? Like Motus. Mm. Like, it's like in five be... years, people, you'll say Motus and people will be like, what? And you'll be Remember like, Motus? Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's already there. Uh, so now that you're, oh, you're, oh yeah, sorry. Go on. I was gonna say I might get my um I got I remember the first like t shirt Giles gave you like that the the three six five t shirt mm. I, might, I might get I might get a framed and marked on my wall. You should because you should should get a, a um, remember should, being <laughs> should get a uh a re- like a uh a frame that's just playing your Kong double gainer as a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a loop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> but see, man, I was fucking mate. When when that when. I went on the Motors channel with that. Man. You don't unbelie- you don't understand how good yeah. that was. Like, the, that was like the biggest thing ever for you. And, like not just I a lifetime it. achievement of movement, but a lifetime achievement of like 
uh living living out your your hero fantasy per se without like that's probably the wankiest way i can put it but like living living your your goals and dreams yeah fully man yeah uh your your ankle now how's how's it doing like you're coming back from the surgery what's like your training schedule like what's your trajectory like for recovery time um right now i've literally just been like rehabbing with like um gym squats and stuff like that and then lunges as well just to pretty much build up the strength and stuff i've been doing a lot of running um to get the endurance back and stuff like that uh but i have just been like feeding in with a couple of training sessions here and there like nothing like huge um, you say that but you're doing like con gain a full on to a crashy and like yeah, to me like but like to me up. with the ankle injuries <laughs> i have it's like a loading problem so like i couldn't even like imagine twisting onto my ankles and landing really... with like speed but do you think yours is like a case of then it's like it, it... Uh, impact and like absorption that makes it sore yeah yeah it, it, it it's strong in the sense of like i can move it about and like it feels nice like Flexion. when i can take off it i can yeah i can take off it nice and it, it feels strong like right now it feels like normal yeah um but when i've been like training outside in concrete and not like, training but like when i've been testing out on concrete and stuff i do notice let like like, uh, like i do notice it getting sore and that's when i'm like right chill out now i can uh, have a nice cool down and, um lift it up in the evening so maybe like Stuff stamina like stamina is the kind of thing that's probably the yeah. lo- most affected by by the, the whole it's definitely ever. it's definitely it's yeah it's definitely super weak right now um mm-hmm. and i'm definitely not ready to go back into anything until that's like to a point where i can it can hold like at least like an hour or two hour session like do you know what i mean yeah right yeah, now i'll yeah. be doing like 20 minutes or like so i know i'm like oh that's a bit sore now mm-hmm and are you um, doing much back end like uh you know ankle recovery stuff like rehabilitation stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um I haven't seen my feet. It didn't sound very like, confident. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear I, I am. Gotta do it. I definitely bro. could Gotta be doing do it. it. I definitely could definitely could be doing a bit more. But um <laughs> I, I have been I've been doing it. Is it's, it's I mean, yeah, I'm I'm right. I'm standing I mean, in a glass house. I was I didn't do anything since June until two <laughs> weeks ago. So it's like yeah, mid December I started getting like treatment for my ankles, and yeah. then I had to go back a bunch of steps and go through pain because I'd had them locked up with scar tissue. So yeah, I I, I, mm. yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I get you. <laughs> I'll be doing it, but not like every day. Where I feel like I, I should have been, but um, I've been out about like in barcelona stuff like that and before that yeah yeah i've been a little bit busy but not mm-hmm. really excuse really i should just be taking that, just taking that 20 minutes out of your day and... yeah hey, exactly it. yeah there's nothing there's nothing yeah it will pay <laughs> dividends in the in the long run um so yeah. in your in your time training have you have you worked with management uh for like your social media platforms or anything, or has it always just been like self-run? Total self-run, right yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you yeah, would you yeah. be interested in working with management or consider management? Because it's like something we touched on with like a lot of the guests is uh like how they how they perceive what what that would look like and and what they would look for if they were working with someone. Is that something you'd like to take, or you just like to run it yourself and potentially work with like friends and stuff like that? um i would like to um yeah have some sort of go with management uh mm-hmm. but also i do like doing things my way you probably know this <laughs> yeah yeah that's but, similar well, in that I sense do, like don't yeah, be told do, what I jobs do, to do yeah i mean like if it if it involves me earning money then i'm fucking happy to do it do you know what i mean but mm-hmm. if it's actually my thing and this is my project then i do like things to like to, run to your rhythm how they my head yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, if, if 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 some sort of management could uh get on board with that and understand it a bit and understand me then definitely think it could work a lot and i definitely think i could excel quite further than yeah. i am now yeah and i think that's a big thing for a lot of parker athletes because we're not in traditional sports where uh it's it's like a 
you've got like a laid out system and you go to these matches, you go to these press conferences and you do that sort of thing. It is a bit more like an artistry and a bit more like feeling based and intuitive. And uh, the more you kind of cross other people who don't understand those worlds and, and try to like force you into different, or not force you, but like suggest you into different situations that maybe you don't want to be a part of, or like don't genuinely reflect your image or your brand, like working with different partners and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's a tricky one for for any parkour athlete. And I think there is slowly more and more people in parkour, uh, like different people moving towards those potentially management roles as they understand the landscape for the younger athletes that they want to see excel and get you know deserving reward. But it's uh, I think something for a, a community as a whole to think about is like how we would like to set our industry standard and how we would like to. Uh, have ourselves communicating as like a, a whole because I think transparency through the entire community about work protocol and, and work standards and that sort of thing for parkour work and social media specifically could really help uh, younger athletes like yourself um, provocate more more work and create this as a more sustainable lifestyle without having to figure it all out on the go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fully, man. Mm. Just goes back to the... Um how there's just not enough money in parkour for like <laughs> yes like a lot a lot of it is in it but definitely oh. would be such a, such a game changer in all athletes like uh, especially like myself um, yeah i think we all like, would say yeah. that there's no money involved but we're also not very um not willing to, <laughs> willing not to, to go and like, make that money either yeah, like i'm yeah. not ve- i'm like uh, honestly i'm not very financially driven it's not something that's ever be appealing to me like i just want enough money to live and be sustainable um like if i make more great if i don't shit but as you know it's not a huge priority and i think that is a similar mindset for a lot of athletes out there so it makes it a little bit more tough to want to uh <laughs> proliferate like a yeah an income and, and an exposure mindset around that <laughs> yeah and yeah i feel like when you uh things would like take example for me when i was uh before i did the congo again it was like at like pretty much like about a thousand followers mm-hmm. and then do that i got up to like ten thousand and fifteen thousand like so quickly i'm like oh this is a thing and then you learn all the things that come with it like like the management you need and um the jobs that you can get from it and stuff like that and um, how to communicate not... yeah yeah it's definitely something i had like no clue about and I just started I just carried on running it how I was running my account when I had a thousand followers but definitely could have got more jobs and more opportunities like even recently if I just like if I think about it more of like a um like this is my job like do you know what I mean Rather yeah than, yeah um, I think yeah it is it is it is a tricky split and a f- uh, funny balance to find like we do want to make this our job but I also just want to go and train with my friends that's really <laughs> at the end of the day yeah. like the most exciting yeah. part is just going out and doing parkour with my mates. Um, Berkey, uh, where yeah. can people find you? Where can they find oh, me? They can find me on the on the gram, Verky two. Find me on the YouTube's Travis Verky or just Verky. Weekly videos, bi-weekly videos, monthly videos. What are we looking at now? Uh, every other week at the moment, but um, mm-hmm. I'm going to try to get back onto every other week, every week on in the new year. You um, when I'm training again. Yeah. Subscribe for that. Yeah. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe. Do all that. Subscribe bit. to the crib. All right. Thank you very much for coming on board and thank you for spreading your Thanks, wisdom. Athlete of the year 2022. That's my guy. I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> my guy. All right. I um thank you all for listening. Next episode, we're gonna have Seth Ruji from US of A coming on the show, talking about uh gym ownership, running events, and just general parkour and life. All right, I'll see you all next week. <laughs>